Oh, there you go. So that's what I want to be doing every time. Me too. <laughs> Okay, mate, we're back at the golf course. Back at it, man. It's been ages, yeah. like six months at least yeah. since we were here. What have you been up to? Uh, a lot of work. Yeah. You know, Hodinki has really uh, become a much bigger thing than, than it was a few years ago. We're up to like 200 people. Uh, we now do pre-owned. I mean, it's really been a lot, but it's kind of amazing to see like the company take on kind of a personality of its own and, and really run in a way that I never really thought possible. So a lot of watches, a lot of work, uh, not so much travel, but a lot of golf, which has been okay. really nice. That's good. Yeah. You're well known in the watch world. With, or something. And you're wearing a watch to yeah. play golf today. Yeah. So how, how did that all come about for you? Yeah, I mean, it, it's funny. It's like, the you know, I'm, I'm sure it's maybe different with you. I'm sure you knew you wanted to be a golfer. Like, I didn't really know what I wanted to be when I grew up. I knew that I wanted to have freedom. I knew that I wanted to kind of do my own thing. And my, actually, the, the man that taught me to play golf, my maternal grandfather, gave me a watch when I was 16 years old. Uh, and that kind of, like, opened my eyes to, be, to this idea of, like, really well-made things, whether it's a car, a golf club, uh, a watch. And then I went into finance and consulting after undergrad and I just really, frankly, hated it. And I just said, you know, like this really isn't for me and I wanted to do something creative. And so I started writing about my grandfather's watch, which actually looks a lot like the one I'm wearing today. And people just started to, to follow the site. And, you know, Hodinki has really grown into something more than that. Went to journalism school, hired a few people. It's one of those things where like, you work really hard at something for a long time and all of a sudden you end up here with Adam Scott on a Monday, you know? <laughs> uh, something like that, something like that. All right. Cool. Well, uh, should we hit a few? Yeah, let's do it. See how it goes today. Sounds good. It's always fun being on camera early in the morning with a professional golfer. And Ben can talk while he swings as well. <laughs> He's... Yeah, that's a nice shot. I'll take that. That looks, that nice. looks good and has playing a little bit more frequently this year helped, do you think, just generally? like? Yeah, I think, it, I think it's rhythm, and I think you know something that, that you told me, I don't know when, maybe one of the first times we played together, is really just kind of taking the ego out of it, out of it and not worrying about speed so much and just mm -hmm. focusing on tempo. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, granted, we're just hitting wedges here, but like my swing with my five iron won't feel that much different than what I'm doing right now. Right. Uh, and so, you know, I, I basically am clubbing up and just swinging a lot slower, yeah. and it feels good. And I, like I think that. I've got- I like that a lot. Yeah, and it's just, it's one of those things where like, it doesn't matter, you know, I've got some friends like, oh, you're hitting a five iron when I'm hitting a <laughs> seven or whatever, but like, it doesn't really matter to me when I'm at 10 feet and they're, you know, off the green. Yeah. Um, and so th that has changed a lot for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and that has produced just much more consistent swings and much better, you know, kind of control of stuff for yeah. sure. So what is your favorite uh, club, Dave? Dare, dare I challenge you to the hybrids? <laughs> Anything you want. <laughs> Let's start with the um, 205 the hybrid. 205, okay. Yeah. So th this is a, a 20 year old Nike V1 Pro, I think, VR Pro. I don't even know what it is. Um, so what do you hit 200 yards? Well, I, I've got my four iron just so it's kind of... Kind of fair. Kind of fair, or yeah. Ish. And this is a blade. Nearly. Nearly. I like the smooth rhythm. It's like, it's like an old friend, you know? It's yeah. like I've known it for 20 years. And you know, I don't know if I'll keep it forever, but for now, it does the trick. But hybrids are just so much easier to hit, aren't they? Oh my God. Yeah. I and when you won the Masters, you were not playing with the irons that you're kind of famous for, right? Uh, I won the Masters with... Ooh, that's not that shot I didn't win it with. <laughs> I mean, I would take that any day to be clear, yeah. Um, I won the Masters with a set of 710 MBs, they were called. Okay. And uh, they were kind of around, produced around that time in 20, 2010, I think, they started making them, so... And then you went back to... But they, they, were, they were blade. Right. Yeah. And then I went back to an older set as they kind of changed the way their uh, inline set was moving. So now I just got a new set. I'd yeah. played the same set for about eight years right. since 2013. And uh, they were really worn out. <laughs> and it was time. So it was time. And Titleist made me up this new set, which is pretty much exactly 
what I was playing, uh, but brand new and they, they're beautiful. And th these are called the 681 AS? 681 AS. And what's the AS stand for? Um, I don't know, actually, no. <laughs> yeah, so they just put that on there. I think so no one can maybe steal them off me or something. No, they're, they're beautiful. I know. They, they really are. They are, and I played them last week for the first time and they're, they've got that feel, everything you want. Adam Scott, second shot at 17. And just a beauty. So I think these could be in the bag for a while. With that strong grip of yours, it's pretty easy to tell the time on that watch. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know you played uh, golf with a watch on. You know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, you know, it's one of those things where, like, I, I obviously watches are a big part of my life and a big part of, of who I am, but oftentimes I don't wear a watch. But, like, you know, it's one of those things where I want to completely disconnect and be out there. I leave my phone away, I leave my watch away, and I really kind of separate. And then other days, like, it's just who I am. So I just put yeah. one on and... You know, the thing is with, with most watches, they can withstand this easily. Yeah. And we see guys out there. Phil wears a super, super slim Rolex all the time. Yeah. Which is, like, that's probably the craziest thing. Um, and it's really easy to, to do it. And it really doesn't impact your swing that much. I mean, if I'm you, I probably wouldn't do it. Like, I'm not playing competitively. <laughs> um, but for me, like, it doesn't really impact. Maybe it's a left-hander thing, because Bubba and Phil are both left-handers, and they play with a watch. Maybe it's... I've never thought of that. No, that's a really good could, point. It could be. You know you've got this like crazy motorcycle style <laughs> left hand on the club. I've never right? heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> One guy that I think of a lot, if I think of strong grip, is Paul Azinger. Uh -huh. And he had this super cranked over left hand and the right hand was underneath and he, and he really held the club out through the ball like that. Right. So that's a good... Good one for you to watch, probably. Paul Azinger. Yeah, Paul Azinger. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing tonight, is Paul Azinger videos <laughs> uh, and room service. There you go. That's nice. That's a nice strike. Yeah. And so, you know, do you, as a watch guy, do you, like, think about what you wear, uh, like, you know, when you do, like, the Masters dinners or when you do any sort of the, the, the big events that mean a lot to you? Yeah, yeah, because I'm really into it. Yeah. So, I mean, the Tuesday Champions Dinner at the Masters is a big one. And, uh, you know, I like to make a point of taking something really fun for, for just myself. I mean, no one maybe really notices it under the jacket, you yeah. know, and they've all got a nice watch too. But, sure. but for me, it's kind of fun, and I get to send you a picture of what I'm wearing that <laughs> night. And generally, you send one back with a better watch. Never. Absolutely <laughs> never. Sam, should we keep rolling, or what do you think? Okay, we'll stand under this to not get wet. I'm guessing this rain will last for I think it's going to blow over here. I, I think it's just like a shower. Rainfall today. We see showers increasing, more steady rain as we head towards the second half of the day. I think we're good. I think it's yeah. good. Let's do it. Ben? Yeah. Time for a fair game. Uh, I really I don't think. like. I don't like these yeah. games. Yeah, no, like these it's, games at all. it's time. It's driver <laughs> versus driver. Oh my god! Wow, that was a good one. That was a good one. That's a 326 carry. There you go. So that's probably what 340 on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Does that sound right? All right, chase that one, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so 340 roughly is what I'm it's looking so for. It's so nasty. That's my mean. That is actually kind of mean. That's like the meanest yeah. thing you've ever done to me. It is, okay. but you know. It's what happens. The competitor I know. comes out when I'm on the course. Okay, we're ready. There you go. Pretty nice. Not too bad. Yeah, not too yeah. bad at all. 260 carry. 260 carry. That's right in your wheelhouse. Right in my we wheelhouse. We were talking about that. You want to get it up though. You want, like everyone, you want like to. Everyone. 280. Yeah, 290. I mean, look, if I, I can mean, hit 260 straight, I'm, I feel okay. You yeah. know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that. But the, on the off chance that I can get it to 280, 290, 300, which I have on occasion, like it changes everything. Yeah. You know? The goal for next year, maybe a little more speed and distance. Yeah. So, so if, let's say a good drive for me is 260. What do you hit 260? Well, it's going to be around my seven wood, I think. Should okay. we let's see give you we another go? But you're under, the, under pressure now. So you've got, to, you've got to you've got to think about this. Yeah. You got to think about do you swing hard and fast, or are you going to smooth one and just get it out of the middle? It's going to be put the pressure on me. It's going to be smooth, but fast. It's going to be perfect, basically. There it is. That's Felt better. Hot draw. Two hundred and sixty carry. Two hundred and sixty carry. Jesus. 
What's the number? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> 259. 259, mother <laughs> I should have hit it harder. Oh. Well done. Good stuff. You are longer than my seven would, Ben. Yes. <laughs> That's embarrassing.